And of course, they're coming off a tremendous weekend in Norwalk, Ohio. Two weeks ago, it was about well, roughly a hundred thousand dollar weekend. The Canyon Horsepower Challenge, then doubling up, winning the regular event. Big payday was one thing, but there was a lot more significance, I know, because of the struggles that you've had this season. How significant was the breakthrough? Well, I think it's huge, and, and like I said before, I think that's going to be a stepping stone for the rest of the season for us. We uh, we did flounder, really, to be honest, quite quite honest, the first part of the season, and, and that was a big weekend, big money weekend with the K&N shootout, the Summit race with all the Summit folk there. Yeah. They come here, and it just seems like everything's going a whole lot smoother. We're able to qualify top part of the field and have a great chance, I think, of winning a race. And, uh, you know, I really love coming to Western Swing, and, and only one time before has a sweep ever been done, and I know in the back of my mind you can't sweep if you don't win that first race. And I think we're in a great position today. We've got a great shot to go out and try and win that first race, have a chance at that sweep. So uh, we'll see what happens today. And one of the little sidelights of that victory in Ohio two weeks ago, it's now 10 consecutive years that this man has had at least one win. Greg Anderson for 10 years already. Man, that is hard to believe as we take a look at Pro Stock points after qualifying. Two drivers secured into the countdown. Mike Edwards and Alan Johnson. Mike could conceivably leave locked into that number one spot today, but the action at the bottom. Boy, look at that battle between 8th and 12th. Roger Brogdon, the Grays, Bob Yonke, Ricky Jones is not even here this weekend, but that is going to be a battle right down to the wire. Oh, Bob Yonke's daughter, Lauren, oh, is she a trip or what?